Minnesota is home to tens of thousands of migrants, many who've arrived within the last couple of years. But where exactly are they? Alpha News has been asking for months. Hennepin County told us it doesn't publicize the locations of migrant housing, so we track migrants ourselves to shelters, hotels, and to city streets in Minneapolis, where they line up every day looking for work. Take a look. Where are you from? In Mexico. From Mexico? Do you know how long you've been in Minnesota? How long you've been here? Six months. Six months? Yeah. Do you come here every day? Yes, look, every day. Look for work? What kind of work? Everything. everything. Is your family here? Are you away from your family? or? No, I'm from Mexico. It's Mexico? Uh, it's a, here it's singular. Single. Oh, yeah. Single. How did you come to America? On a bus? Did they bring a bus? Yeah, it's in the, the Del Rio bus. Del Rio bus? Is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where do you sleep? Where do you sleep? Oh, I sleep uh, the rent. The rent. My house here, two blocks. Yeah, yeah. Two blocks? And then you walk here every day and look for yeah. work. Okay. Yeah, we have given a few rooms to the county, Hainapur County. 40, 50 rooms. Are they full Something like. at the moment? They come and go, you know, these people, they come and then they, the government bring them here, the county bring them, and then these people knows the families here, then they disappear, then they bring the new one. Is it pretty consistent or is it like sometimes well, Also, here? what I was telling you, telling you that, so they bring the people here, then they know, then they disappear, then they bring the different family. But this is shelter is only for the family. And when they fight or something, then the county people kick them out. Are they here illegally? I don't want to lie to you. I don't know. I'm doing whatever I'm telling you about these people, yeah. what I heard. They keep track. Yeah. So for us, it's just a business. We were told that you guys have some migrant families that stay here from Hennepin County. Okay, um, they sent the Hennepin us County here to... people, they are living. How long, long have they been here? Maybe like two months. Is it a lot of rooms that you have? At first, we were uh, we gave around like 50, 60 rooms, then uh, gradually decreased. They oh. were slowly moving out, checking mm. out. We still have like four or five rooms left today. Yeah. So oh. uh, they'll vacate the room. Do you know when? The, after today? They're... Yeah. Oh, by by today, by oh. today. Have you had problems or something, or just the contract is ending, or? I don't know what's the problem with that, but okay. they said they're checking out, so. Some of them are families, some of them are individual people. Some of them are individual people, that hotel worker at the Red Roof Inn in Plymouth told us. Alpha News also confirmed this Holiday Inn in Bloomington on Lindale and 94th Street is being used as a shelter run by a private organization, Primus Incorporated rather than by Hennepin County. We saw several families that day walking in and out. And what's called Federal Plaza, the former Lumen Hotel, steps away from the Minneapolis City Hall building, is also housing migrants. As this picture shows, staff have been told not to answer any questions and refer any inquiries to the county. Mm -hmm.